Joining me now is Elizabeth Satimi, president and owner of Char Crust Dry Rub Seasoning out of Chicago, our neighbors in the Midwest. And uh, you guys know a thing or two about important holiday meals and roasts and steaks. Uh, tell me a little bit about your background and, and how you came to be uh, so good at this perfect holiday meal recipe that we're going to be talking about yeah. today. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jen, for having us. So Char Crust has been around, as you indicated, for a very long time. We actually started in a steakhouse in Chicago back in the 1950s. And the steakhouse was famous because of the seasoning. The seasoning creates incredible, thick, juicy steaks and roasts with a beautiful seared seasoned crust on the exterior and really juicy tender meat on the interior. So the steakhouse was around for about 20 years, and then when it closed, both the chefs and the consumers, or the home chefs, said, how do we recreate these in our own food? And so the full seasoning line was born then, and the rest is history. We've been around for quite a long time, and our products are known for being extremely easy to use, but at the same time, giving kind of a restaurant quality meal. That's right. So what are we going to uh, see you make for us today that can help, uh, you know, have people at home have that showstopper meal this holiday? So for this recipe, we're doing a beef tenderloin roast. So we took a whole tenderloin, cut it into a roast size, um, or you can just buy a roast size. We typically sure. do about six ounces per person. And then I also have a little butter, a little olive oil, and this time we're using Charcot's original hickory grill. This is the original flavor that started it off. So this was the flavor used in the steakhouse and really kicked off everything. Okay, so for this recipe, we are first going to sear the exterior of the roast and then we'll finish it in the oven. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have one of these to show you that we did earlier as well. So I'm just adding a little bit of butter and olive oil to my iron skillet. And then I've already taken my Car Crust Original Hickory Grilled and put it in this dredging pan. So as we were talking about before, because you don't just sprinkle it on, you actually, it's easiest to pour it into something and then you can fully dredge all sides of the meat. So really that coat it. it. Exactly. All right, so here's my tenderloin roast and I am mm -hmm. simply going to put it in the dredging pan and then fully coated on all sides with the char crust hickory grill. So don't be shy with this. Don't, don't be shy. shy. <laughs> it doesn't need to be a thick coating, but it mm -hmm. does need to be fully coated so it really creates that beautiful crust. Okay, so here we go, we're all set. And now I've got my cast iron skillet that's been heating. And I'm just gonna place the roast in here. And the first thing we'll do is sear all sides of it. We're not gonna go through that whole process, um, on camera, but we'll just see. Because that really does seal everything in. The combination between the crust and the searing really does keep that the, all those flavors in there that you want. That's exactly right. And your crust does create a little bit of a darker crust, but it doesn't, it's, um, it's just, that's just the color of it. So it's telling you, yes, the crust is warming and you're sealing in the juices and the flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so now we're going to see what the finished roast looks like. Mm -hmm. And we cooked this one a little bit earlier. Oh, wow. And mm -hmm. so, it, as you can see, hopefully you can see, it has this really nice crust on the outside. Mm -hmm. And then when you put into it, you're gonna have this beautiful pink tender interior that's very juicy. Wonderful, and you let it rest, right, for a little bit. Yeah, so we, we let this rest for a few minutes and it, it should be ready for your following. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, Char, are you going to cut it up one for us? You want to, or do you want to say? I, I am going to cut it up. Okay, but... great. And while you're doing that, I can say that you can you can find it locally in uh, in stores like Heinen's. That's exactly right. So yes, in, in the Cleveland area, Heinen's. We're in several independent grocery stores. We're in lots of independent butchers, butchers. Oh, always great. Highly recommend the product. And then of course we're always available on Carcrest.com and Amazon. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the payoff. I can't wait. Let's see. Exactly. I want to come to your house for Christmas dinner. Looks right. delicious. So there you can <laughs> see. Perfectly cut with a really beautiful crust. All the juices are running out. So it's going to be really delicious. I think we're going to be having this for lunch. For sure. <laughs> 
I am very, very jealous. I wish I could smell it from here. Uh, Elizabeth at TV with a Charcrest. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Thanks, Jen. Thank you.